Hey guys, Mick V here. The highly anticipated Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is almost here. This massive 14 acre project is Disneyland's largest expansion ever. Visitors to Galaxy's Edge will step into the remote village of Black Spire Outposts on the planet of Batu. Guests will be able to enjoy brand new adventures like the Millennium Falcon Smuggler Run and the Rise of the Resistance. And even though we're excited for the new attractions, we just can't wait for that new food on Batu. On Batu, guests will be visiting the Black Spire Outpost, an infamous stop for traders, adventurers, and smugglers traveling around the Outer Rim and wild space. But even though space travelers are gonna get hungry eventually, luckily for them, the Black Spire Outpost has three different places to dine. The Ronto's Roasters, Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo, and Oga's Cantina. Now at Batu, Disney Imagineers gave everything a story, and the food is no exception. At the Ronto Roasters, Bakar uses a pod racing engine to roast your Ronto meat. At this shop that is decorated with pod racing flags, you can get yourself a Ronto wrap. You can get yourself between a spicy herb turkey jerky, a sweet teriyaki turkey jerky, and this wrap is a roasted pork and spice grilled Portuguese sausage topped with slaw and a spicy clutch sauce in a pita. The chef at Docking Bay 7 is no other than Strono Tugs, also known as Cookie. Cookie has a big reputation in food, and he offers something called Tugs Grub, a traveling diner for diners traveling. And some foods you may encounter at the Docking Bay 7 are the Braised Shack Roast. This is beef pot roast with cavatelli pasta, kale, and mushrooms. They also have the fried and Dorian Tip Yip, fried chicken with roasted vegetable mash and green herb gravy. Oh man, that sounds good. Now this is probably something Janelle wants to try. This is a garden loaf with vegan meatloaf served with roasted vegetable mash, seasonal vegetables, and a mushroom sauce. And they have many more options that we'll be trying as well, like the oven roasted chicken, the oven roasted fish, and the ribs. And now for the oldest smugglers that are looking for adventure in Batu, they can land their way to Oga's Cantina. Oga Cantina is owned by Oga Gara, Black Spire's biggest crime boss. This waterhole will be like stepping into Mos Eisley's Cantina. This is the first time in Disneyland history where they'll be serving alcohol inside the park outside of Club 33. Drinks like the Outer Rim, the Best Pin Fizz, the Yub Nub, and the Fuzzy Tauntaun. All these drinks look fit enough for even the most adventurous smugglers. And I'm so excited to try the Bloody Rancor. That big giant space monster that Luke fights in Return of the Jedi? Yep, you get to try that drink and eat your bone too. Now don't worry because at the Olga's Cantina, even young Jedis can have non-alcoholic drinks. Like the Carbon Freeze, Olga's Obsession Provision, and Cliff's Dweller. Lots of Disney Imagineers came together to bring us Galaxy's Edge. I'm really excited to see what's to come, and we want you guys to come along with us too. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then what are you waiting for? We'll be at Galaxy's Edge trying out all the latest foods, and we want you guys to come along. Oh yeah, and there's blue milk too. This was just a short update video, but we'll have an actual Wonderful World of Food episode this week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you here next time on the Wonderful World of Food.